Uh, an Eastern Conference final team last year who, who lost in the Eastern Conference Finals and a Ranger team that has a ton of talent, the best goaltender in the world. I'll say it right now. Uh, for my money, he is. And the Devils found a way here in Game 7. Final 10 seconds. This Devils team had 63 points last year. They are going on to the Eastern Conference semifinals with a seven-game series win over the Rangers. I think some people going into Game 7 in the hockey world, and certainly the media that I was paying a little bit of attention to, didn't think they could calm the nerves enough for a game seven after losing game six and the experience of the Rangers was took over. Well, they proved a lot of people wrong as, as this group, you talked about how, how cool and collective they were yesterday and this morning in pre-game skate. Taking a look at Marty Brodeur, the Hall of Fame goaltender. I came in tonight prior to this game and he calmed me down again just like he did in the ice. And now time for the handshakes between these two bitter rivals. 31 save shutout for Akira Schmid. Second Devils game seven shutout. The other was Marty in the 2003 Cup Finals. Well-earned handshakes here for the Devils as playoff victors for the first time in 11 years. It's been a long time coming, but worth the wait. And they did it in dramatic fashion against their biggest rival. And what a job you see the coaches, Lindy Ruff, McGill, Brunette, Taylor as well in the handshake line. Really did a good job through this series of making adjustments. When the Rangers answered the bell and, and took it to New Jersey in a couple of games, in particular games one and two, and the Devils somehow, some way, picked themselves up off the mat because that was humbling the first two games. That shows a lot as well about the resiliency of this young team. Yeah, a team with basically no playoff experience. Bounce back from being 2-0 down. And then bounce back again from losing game six. That guy a big reason why. The experience they brought in. Eric Paula, the veteran who was brought in. And doing exactly what they were asked to do in this series. And hey, let's celebrate this one. But the road is wide open ahead. Carolina next. There is so much more to play for in the next two months. Well, let's repeat it. Schmid, Akira Schmid, two years ago was in junior hockey, was he not? He was. This is what we love about the game, the great game of hockey in the National Hockey League. Heroes are, are born, and you never know who's going to step up. But Schmid, the young goaltender, Won four games and only lost one when he entered the net. No rest for the weary, though, Bill, like you had mentioned. There will be more hockey here in New Jersey. Games three and four coming up starting in the weekend. Games one and two on Wednesday and Friday in Carolina. As the Devils are on to the second round, and really they do it in dominant fashion, a 4 nothing shutout win. Save of the game. What a night for Akira Schmid, and what a night for the New Jersey Devils. And we always talk about the unlikely heroes of Game 7. Well, I guess Akira Schmid is an unlikely hero, though if you watched him all year, you would not be surprised by how he played tonight. How about Michael McLeod, the oh game-winning goal? What a play, by the way. I mean, he channeled. His... And because of that goal, Michael McLeod is your third star. Yeah, I, I thought he was great all, all series assists. long. From the Devils, second star RT, for New Jersey Andre is Andre Pallott, a Warriors effort today, including the assist on the game winner. Yeah, how many times do we preach and all year long? This is what he's here for. And could it be anyone else? Your first star, Akira Schmid, with his second shutout of the series. What a bounce back. Two shutouts. Just remarkable. Outdueled the best goaltender, arguably, in the league. All right, let's send it down to Akira with Erica. 
Akira, congratulations. A 31 save shutout performance for you. Your second of this postseason, and this one sends this team to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. What does that mean for you personally? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a lot. It means a lot to the team. You know, uh, they help me, help me out every game, and they block shots. They work hard in front of me. You know, it feels great. You guys were down 2 nothing to begin this series against your biggest rival, but you come back and win four of the next five games. Was there any ever doubt, any doubt inside the room? Uh, no, I mean, we have great leadership group in the room, you know, who, keep, who kept us uh, ready at all times. And, uh, you know, we just tried to work hard and one win at a time and, you know, worked out in the end. A bounce back performance for you and a bounce back performance for this team what does it mean to be headed to the second round and doing it here in front of the home fans this building was electric all night long <laughs> yeah i mean it means a lot to us especially doing it home with uh in front of our fans you know you guys were amazing tonight and throughout the whole year you know we appreciate you so much well, we've got a lot more hockey left. to Akira, congratulations. Keep it going. Thank you. All right, Erica, thank you. The New Jersey Devils are on to the second round of the playoffs. They take down the Rangers in seven games. Hey, you got nowhere else to be. Stick with us here. We're going to be celebrating. We're going to be talking to players. And we're going to be getting you ready for the Carolina series as well. Because coming up next on MSGSN, it's the Mercedes-Benz Devils postgame.